Hi and welcome to this video. Previously we saw how to mitigate performance issues related to bulk entity persistence in Hibernet when using database sequence to generate identities. We saw that when creating GPE entity there is a round trip to the database to get the ID from the sequence, which is very expensive and results in poor performance. Fortunately, using the parameter allocation size, we can tell Hibernate to retrieve multiple IDs at once, which reduces the number of round trips to the database and consequently improves the performance. We have seen that starting from the value 50, the performance is optimal. Today, we will see another Hibernate parameter to improve the bulk insert. For our demo, I prepared a small GPE project. This is an entity with two fields, text and ID. The IDs are generated using sequence. The allocation size is set to 100. I am using local SQL Server database with default configuration. No thanks special here. And in the application class, app class, I have a min method and I try to persist 1 million entities and measuring the time for the persistent and the comet. So let's run the test. And we see that persisting took about four seconds. However, committing took about 60 seconds. And to understand that, let's try to understand this result. Here in this loop, we are persisting the million entities. So when we save, nothing is sent to the database. The only interaction with the database is to get the IDs from the sequence and we we have improved we optimized this using this parameter here to get multiple IDs at once this improved the performance therefore it took only four seconds however committing took unusually a long time so at first we need to understand what is a commit so committing hibernate consists of two things synchronizing the objects with the database so when you commit when you issue a commit the data the objects the information is sent to the database and after that commit is performed in the database system commit takes almost a fraction of the time no matter the size of the transaction so almost all database systems have developed some mechanism to buffer the change in log files and then the changes are written to to data files and writing to the log file is usually very fast compared to writing to data files and usually happens even before the client's application commits the change. So a commit is just promise from the database to the client's application that the change will persist. So the client does not have to wait until the data is saved in the data files. So our problem here that when we commit, we send the information to the database, we send SQL update to the database for each entity. And this is not efficient at all. So the way to mitigate this issue is to use batch processing. Fortunately, Hibernate support this. So we can use this parameter, this one parameter batch size, and you have only to define how many entities should be persisted at once. In our case, in my case, I'm using this number. You can experiment with your application to find out the best one. So what does this parameter mean? Hibernate will send one statement for all 10,000 one statement for all 10,000 entities and this will reduce again the route trips and so so let's see the impact on the performance we run again our test uh, and you see now committing took only two seconds so i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching and bye